Alright guys, so here we are for something completely different. Today I'm on a new racing simulator called Automobilista. I'm sorry if I got the pronunciation wrong. I've just bought this a few hours ago and I'm going to give this a go for the first time on my channel. Uh, I've done no practice in the build up to this so hopefully uh, it can provide a, uh, a good video for you guys. So basically what I'm going to do is I'll race in the Formula V10 for today's video. There's a whole host of of cars that I want to try on this uh, racing sim and um, just let me know down in the comments which ones you'd like to see. I'll briefly read off a quick car list. We've got the likes of a Formula uh, V, Formula 3, Formula 1 from 1976, uh, Formula 1 1988, the McLaren MP4-4. I'll leave like the car list on the screen so you can see exactly what cars are there. We've got a whole host of Formula 1 cars from 1995 to 2012. Uh, F1 2014, uh, Chevrolet Camaro, we've got some minis, uh, some stock cars, we've even got some V8 supercars in there, um, super trucks, which I haven't seen in real life at the uh, Gold Coast track last year, a Toyota a Chevrolet, we've got some go-karts, a few Mitsubishi Lancers, and um, that's about it so far. Just be aware that this game is in early access at this phase, uh, at the time of recording this, so... There's a lot more content to come, and uh, I expect that um, there'll be a lot more tracks added as well. So, this game is on early access, so it is fairly cheap at the moment if you buy it now, and um, the game will constantly get um, better and better as they optimize it, as they add more content. So, okay, that's enough rambling. We're going to jump in a single race. We're going to race in the Formula V10, like I said before. And this is actually a first time for me looking at the, at the track list, because... I've seen the car list, I actually don't know what tracks are on this game. So just scrolling through some of these cars, uh, it's quite obvious to me that they aren't the official licensed cars. Um, the McLaren MP4-4 I believe was a licensed car, and I will come back to that in another video. Um, just for this first one, I want to try a, uh, a V10 car, because I saw this um, game on some YouTube videos, and it sounded absolutely incredible. So that's what I'm going to be trying out today. In terms of the tracks, we've got a whole list here. We've got Brazil. Uh, God, so many tracks I've never heard of before. We've got Interlagos down here. Uh, Montreal. And they've even got like historic versions of these tracks as well. So I'm really eager to not only try out like some of the F1 tracks, but I also want to try out some of these tracks I've never raced on before. I think for this one, we'll just jump on Austria, uh, something nice and simple, something that we know, um, and I'll probably chuck us straight into a race or something like that, so we'll see uh, how we go. Uh, so this is practice one. Uh, bear in mind, guys, I don't have my wheel set up or anything. Uh, I haven't like calibrated anything, so this may be a complete disaster. So let's, let's just jump straight out and go. I had to cancel uh, going straight at the track because I had to calibrate my wheel. Um, it's very rare for it. Oh my god, did you hear that? It's very rare for a simulator to have... I can't concentrate. It's very rare for everything to be um, all plug in and play on a sim. But you can select all of these different functions and controls to your wheel. Anti-roll bar, brake, um, brake bias adjustments, launch control. Um, passenger selects, hot driver swap. This, oh, that's pretty, that's pretty sweet. Handbrake. Oh my. The customization in this is pretty sweet. Alright, let's go. Let's leave the garage. I'm guessing this isn't a manual. Um, you have to do this all yourself to leave the garage. We, I think, believe we have full control in the pit lane. I don't want to push the boundaries and put myself into someone else's garage. So we'll leave it at that. Cross the line, release the pit limiter, and I've got automatic transmission. You know what, I don't even want to play with the setup right now. That is, uh, yeah, this is what Codemasters needs. For whatever reason, I can't seem to shake this auto, auto gears thing. It's either auto shifting up, or it's auto shifting down. I'm trying to press F7 to get rid of it, but for the life of me, guys, I can't. I can't fix it. I can't get rid of it. I think we got a bit of a touch up there. <laughs> oh my god. 
driving with one wing. We can actually drive around. This car is still is still fully capable of driving with three wheels. Now this this is a racing simulator. So here we are for the race. There's a countdown timer, but I'm not too sure what it's for. I think it could well possibly be uh, it could well possibly for be for the uh, the formation lap because I did do I did set this to a formation lap start and then and then jump to a rolling start or something like that. So you look in the bottom left hand corner. We can press space to skip the formation lap. So. For all you guys, all you F1 fans who want, over the years who wanted to see a formation lap, you're about to get one. You're getting one right now. So this is pretty similar to what we get in uh, iRacing, maybe like in an IndyCar series where you have a rolling start, but I assume after this formation lap, we shall be stopping on the grid in our grid positions. And to be honest guys, I really hope I just find the right grid slot. That's all I'm really hoping for in this start. I don't even care if I spin off on the start. As long as I find my grid position, I'm fine. I've got to say though, the quick review of like the controls and everything, it's taken me a lot longer than what it normally would to get this uh, wheel calibrated and stuff. And I still haven't fully done that. For whatever reason, I just simply can't get manual gears um, on this sim yet. I can get the wheel to downshift manually but I can't get it to upshift manually. It's it's always automatic. So the way that the settings are worked, you you either have to choose one or the other. Um, either upshifting or downshifting will be automatic for you. So it's really frustrating to work that out at the moment. I've spent at least half an hour trying to figure it out. I've given up on it, and I'm hoping that some of you guys who have already tried this in the comments can let me know if there's any kind of fix to this. So here we go, this formation lap is coming to a close. It's a bit of a weird formation lap if I'm brutally honest. It, should be, it shouldn't be too wide unless this is a rolling start. And I think that's my grid slot highlighted in red there, the one that I have to stop for. So, shift it down into first gear, or slow it down, and try and stop for the marks. So I think we did that. Okay, so here we go, ready for the start of this race. Waiting for 10 red lights, and away we go. For this Austrian Grand Prix in Automobile Lista. Into turn one, we'll take it nice and easy. I do not want any crashes because I do not want to do that formation lap again. Inside of, oh Jesus, he squeezes completely off the track, the AI. First experience with them. Looks like they have no chill. It's like they almost don't know that I'm there. As far as I know as well, I've gone for like the hardest difficulty settings in the assists, but I'm not too sure what the AI difficulty level is. I'm sure they're like right up there. I just hope that they're not too hard as we pass in Rodriguez. We're just clearing into the penultimate couple of corners. Okay, there's a bit of room for improvement for the AI. They're definitely not on the hardest difficulty. Then, as completely turns in front of us there, left us literally no space. I'm getting um, flashbacks of maybe some Project Cars AI just without the first lap carnage. These guys, seems like they, they don't even know you're there, they're just going to turn in on front of you, so you've got to be very wary of these guys. Are we going to shape a move here? Into this heavy braking zone. Oh, not quite. The low speed corners. That Renault looking car has almost overtaken me around the outside. The hairpins. Very slippery on the, on the rear end. The, the traction and the torque of this car is quite a handful trying to keep it in a straight line. But it looks like we're doing okay so far. It's, it hasn't ended up in disaster, so I'll take it. Ah, oh, come on. Stop parking it on the apex. Just let me through. So we got the inside. We've made contact with the car in front. We do have realistic damage mode on, or... 100% uh, authentic damage, or whatever it's called. So we need to be very careful. We can't make contact with anyone, otherwise we'll pay the ultimate price. Nice exit off the first corner. We'll see if we can shape another move into this corner here. And turn two, and again, the AI. Leave you no space. Absolutely no space. And we've been cream cracking. All right. This time, 
Let's hope for a better start. This time I'm not going to talk so much off the start here. I'm going to focus on getting a good getaway. Away we go. Also give you guys a good chance to enjoy the game sounds. And just listen to this throaty V10 engine roar on this first lap here. Bloody hell. <laughs> the AI tease you into going up the inside, but they shut the door every time. We may have a bit of steering damage. Oh, back in. I'm charging up your inside, and I've got you, Sunny Jim. This is awesome. I am having the time of my life right now. Up the inside into turn one. Oh, we've gone in a little a little bit deep. We've overshot the corner as well. But we've cleared the traffic a little bit. We can uh, afford to breathe a little bit into P10. Oh, back end. No, 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 no. You can't, you can't turn in too quick in this game. I realise that. I made that mistake a lot in practice. Are we going to go for that same lunging move into the high-speed corner? Yes, we are. That is so... Oh, that should not be possible. But every time, we pulled it off. Oh, I turned in so slowly that time. What a joke the mechanical grip is there. We are... Uh... We're getting some nice overtakes in this race. It's a shame I keep spinning on the freaking second corner, which sends us so far back. Coming on to lap five now, halfway through the race already. Despite like the little minor complaints that I've had so far, I'm actually really enjoying this so far. For an early access, title it's actually pretty damn good I'm loving like the menus even though you might not have seen of that too much the presentation of the HUD everything just looks really nice and I can see there's so much potential as well in the customization and everything like that I just can't wait to dive into this game a little bit more and get familiar with it because it has a lot of potential it's a shame that this race is pretty much over now because we were catching the guy in front so quickly now in this last lap. This may even be our fastest lap here as we come across the line. 1 minute 10.3 Fastest lap. Yeah, it just came up at the top of the screen there. I believe this is the end of the race. The race is pretty much over now. I think it's run its its full course of 10 minutes and the checkered flag has come out. So I'm pretty sure if I'm not mistaken, this is the end of the race anyway. So I think that might do this video as well. I hope you guys have thoroughly enjoyed um, a, a quick little go at Automobilista. I'm sorry about the pronunciation. I will get it right if someone in the comments lets me know how to pronounce the name of this sim. So if you want to see more uh, videos from this sim, then let me know down in the comments. Let me know what track, car combinations you want to try. And um, I'd be more than happy to um, uh, make some more videos on this. They've got like a championship mode or career mode or something like that. They've got time trial. They've even got online, so I, I'd love to try my um, skills, or lack of, against some uh, real-life people in the not-too-distant future. So, thanks guys for watching. If you guys could smash the like button on this video, then that would be absolutely awesome. And if you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe to see plenty more racing game content in the future. And, well, <laughs> listen to that V10 engine. It's incredible. Until my next video, guys, I'll see you next time.